Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Nitin Naik from the Department of Structural Engineering, the Junior College of Engineering, Kopara. Friends, in the last video, we have discussed about the shear stresses, how the shear stresses are complementary. <coughs> Our question was, prove that the shear stresses are complementary and we have derived this particular uh, derivation by taking moment about x, y and z axis. Now after this, we will derive the equilibrium equations of elasticity. <coughs> As discussed earlier, the state of stress at a point can be completely defined with the help of six independent components instead of nine. So these are the six components, sigma x, sigma y, sigma z, tau xy, tau xz, tau yz. And thus we can uh, write this particular equation or matrix. <coughs> Here the row, first row, it shows the stresses acting on plane x, sigma x, tau xy, and tau xz. While the second subscript in this column, the second subscript, it indicates the direction in which the stresses are acting. So here, uh, the direction is shown by uh, vertical column sigma x, tau xy, and tau xz. Previously, we have written this tau xy as tau yx. But after deriving this particular derivation, now we can write tau xy is equal to tau yx. And hence, now there are six components which we can use to define the state of stress at a point completely. Now, after this, we can drive, let us, we will go through the figure again. So here, nine stresses are shown. Uh, for example, on the left face, sigma x is there, for, while on the right face, sigma x plus this increment, uh, increment is added in sigma s. Similar is the case with all the shear stresses. Now, let us derive the equilibrium equations. Now again we will consider the same figure and as we know there are three equilibrium conditions which we are using in engineering mechanics. Summation fx is equal to zero, fy is equal to zero, summation uh, m is equal to zero. Here we will use the first equilibrium condition summation fx is equal to zero. Remember this is three dimensional figure. Summation fx is equal to 0 means sum of forces acting in x direction is equal to 0. Now let us consider the stresses acting on the right face of the given element. Now here we will use summation fx is equal to 0 and hence first force acting in x direction is sigma x plus daba sigma x by daba x into dx. This force or this stress is acting on this plane. And area of this plane is dy into dz. And hence multiplied by the area. So stress into area is equal to force. Then the second stress which is acting in x direction is sigma x. This stress is acting in negative x direction. And hence we are using negative sign. So sigma x into area of this plane on which the stress is acting. So area is dy into dz. Okay. Now next, again we will consider the stress acting in x direction. So in this figure now, tau yx is acting along negative x direction. So this is tau yx and this stress is acting on this area. This stress is acting on this area in negative x direction. So area of this plane is dx into dz and hence minus tau yx into dx into dz. This is force acting in negative x direction plus plus. Now we will consider this stress tau yz dash into dx into dz in the similar fashion. Okay. Now, let us come to tau zx dash. <coughs> tau zx dash is the stress. This is the stress, tau zx dash. This stress is acting on this surface, on this plane. 
so one side is dx and the second side is equal to dy so dx into dy multiplied by the area this stress is acting in positive x direction therefore plus sign is used similarly on the opposite z plane that is on this plane you please uh, follow the cursor for better understanding this is the plane z plane on this z plane this stress is acting tau zx this stress is acting in negative x direction so negative x direction tau zx into the area the area remains same dx into dy dx into dy hence dx into dy plus x now plus x where x is body force we have already defined body force what is mean by body force so we are considering the body force positive plus x is equal to 0 so where x is body force in x direction now what is mean by tau yx dash tau yx dash is equal to tau yx plus this small increment tau zx dash means tau zx plus this small increment okay and hence let us modify the equation sigma x into dy into dz so i am multiplying sigma x by this area okay plus the second term into area the second term into this area again minus sigma x into dy into dz this term okay minus tau yx into dx into dz plus now tau yx dash is replaced by this quantity okay into dx into dz area plus tau zx dash now tau zx dash is replaced by this quantity and written in the bracket into area minus tau zx into dx into dy plus x is there x is body force and hence solving the above equation so this is our result let us divide the above equation by dx into dy into dz again i will divide this above equation by dx into dy into dz dx into dy into dz dx into dy into dz okay so the result is daba sigma x by daba x plus daba tau y x by daba y plus daba tau zx by daba z plus x is equal to zero now let us ignore the body forces if x is equal to y is equal to z is equal to zero we will have the equation as daba sigma x by daba x plus daba tau y x by daba y plus daba tau z x by daba z is equal to zero okay similarly you can apply second equilibrium condition summation f y is equal to zero and the third condition summation f z is equal to zero to have these three equations to have these three equations so the second equation you can derive through summation y is equal to 0 first equation we can derive through summation fx is equal to 0 and the third equation we can derive through summation fz is equal to 0 remember we have this equation here daba sigma x by daba x into dx into dy into dz why because here sigma x into dy into dz minus sigma x into dy into dz having opposite sign so get cancelled similarly here minus tau yx into dx into zz and minus plus tau yx into dx into dz will get cancelled and hence we are having this equation first equation we will ignore body force x and hence we can rewrite the equation in this form so in this way we can derive these three equations now above three equations which we have derived these three equations first second and the third equation these three equations are called as equilibrium equations of elasticity now we can use tau xy is equal to tau yx tau xz is equal to tau zx and tau yz is equal to tau zy and we can rewrite the equations so this is the first form of equation here uh, 
we are having the equation second term in this equation is dabba tau y x it is now replaced by dabba tau x y dabba tau z x is replaced by dabba tau x z and like so on is equal to zero so these are the stresses acting on x plane the second equation further can be modified like this and this is the third equation so in this way we can derive the three equations of equilibrium okay these equations called as equilibrium equations of elasticity if suppose there is a question uh, to derive these three equilibrium equations of elasticity then first apply summation fx is equal to 0 then apply summation fy is equal to 0 and then apply summation fz equal to 0 you will have this particular result thank you